Hey Easy Technology fans, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to get modern flyouts in Windows 11. Now this is very easy. So all you have to do is simply choose the start menu and type in Microsoft Store. Go ahead and select the Microsoft Store. And from the top, you're going to select the search bar and simply type in modern flyouts. Go ahead and choose enter. All right, and this is the app that you wanna download. So it's gonna say modern flyouts preview. Go ahead and choose get to download it. All right, once it's all complete, this is 71 megabytes, so it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Go ahead and choose open. So just go ahead and select open, minimize this page. And it'll take you right here to the settings. So what you want to do is make sure modern flyouts is checked off. And as you can see, this is the modern flyouts app. So it has opened the settings automatically for me. So as you can see over here on the first tab, it has the general where it has the startup option, language, default flyout, etc. And you can reset all your settings to default and you have the personalization. So this is the appearance where it has the flyout themes and background opacity, as well as some other features. And you can select layout to choose how you want it to look. And as you can see, flyout modules. So choose audio. You can play around with that. You can change the brightness of it. You can switch it to airplane mode and you can use different lock keys. All right, so all you have to do is simply minimize this and just select the volume up or down key on your computer. And as you can see right over here on the top left side, it shows right over here. So I can move it anywhere I would like. And you have a few options here. So I believe this changes the location of it. And you can just select and drag it. You can pin it to your desktop wherever you would like. Or if you don't want it to show here to pen, then you can choose the settings to change the settings that we have adjusted. And you can change the volume up and down key, as you can see. All right. And once you're all done with it, you can simply just unpin it. And it goes away automatically. All right. And you don't need this. So you can go ahead and exit the settings out. As you can see, it's right over here. So it looks really advanced and cool. And also it works for the brightness. So it looks like this for the brightness. All right, that concludes my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, share it to all your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.